Hi, it's Mr. Adams from Midwood High School. This is a video on density calculation. Uh, we know from experience that density, right, is equal to the mass over the volume of the object, right? Now, you can be asked in uh, two different situations. You can be asked to find a density of a regular object, for example, a cube like this, or you can be asked to find the density of an irregular object, um, some irregular shaped rock, asymmetrical rock. Now, in terms of a regular object, for example, this cube, you would take the length times the height times the width that will give you the volume, right? You would need some type of scale, all right, to get the mass, and you would use this formula, okay? Mass of volume will give you the density. Now, if you have an irregular object, you don't panic, right? You use a principle, okay, of displacement, which our community has discovered. Um, you place the object into a measured amount of water, right? The displacement that happens, right, represents, okay, your volume, okay, so to find displacement, you simply have to do a subtraction, okay, of the original amount of water and the final amount of water when the rock goes in, in it, okay, and that will give you the volume. You, once again, will need a scale to get your mass, okay, you, once again, you use density equals mass over volume. Now, what could happen, folks, you can be given a problem like this or like this, right? So what you're going to do, I want you to pause the video really quick um, and try and do these two problems and try and round them to the correct number of significant figures. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we know from experience, right, that we have the formula, okay, density equals to mass, whoops, over volume, all right? And you analyze the problem carefully. You're given volume here. You are given the density there. You are trying to find M, mass. So we know that M will be these two guys, density and volumes, the products of those two guys. All right. So what we simply do, we simply say mass is equal to density times volume. And always learn, practice writing out everything, okay? Write out the letters first and then plug your values in. The density given to us is 0.0. 095, write your units in, grams per centimeters cubed, right? And the volume that they gave us was 4189, 4189 centimeters cubed. Now, why am I writing the units out? Because I see that my centimeters cubed and my centimeters cubed cancel. If they don't cancel, I know I did something wrong, all right? Okay, so therefore, my mass will be equal to 39. 0.7, okay, 955 on my calculation, okay, and that's grams. But if we want to round this to the correct number of significant figures, we have to look at a problem and find the lowest number of significant figures in the problem. So there's a bit of practice. So we look at a problem, we see up there's four significant figures, sig figs for 4189, and there's only two sig figs for. 0 0.0095 because these zeros in front are placeholders. All right, so how do we round this to two sig figs? What'd you get? Okay, I got 40, all right? But it's not just a regular 40, it's 40 with a decimal point. Because if I write 40 without a decimal point, how many sig figs do I have? I have only one. Good, so make sure you have your decimal point. You round it to 40, this 7 will change this 9 to a 10, so we got 40. Now we're going to put our unit, 40 grams, and that's our mass, and you're done. Okay, we move on. All right, we're giving density uh, again. We're given mass this time, and we are asked to find volume. So what I practice doing, I put my funny triangle down, okay? Density equals to mass over volume. I know I'm looking for volume. Therefore, I look at my triangle, and I see that I'm doing a division. Okay, I'm doing a division. So what do I do? I say volume is equal to mass over density. All right? So my mass is 46 grams. So that's going to be equal to 46 grams divided by 1.13 grams per centimeters cube. And you look, analyze what happens. The grams and the grams cancel, top and bottom, right? This centimeters cube flips up, giving you a unit of uh, volume, which makes sense because we're looking for volume. After I do the division, right, I get this huge number right here. I get 40.7079646 centimeters cubed, right? And am I going to leave it like that, folks? 
I hope not. Okay, so we learn sig figs, right? We learn how to the sig fig rules and how to round to the lowest number of sig figs if we're doing a multiplication or division. So we see we have three sig figs right here. We have only two right here. So our final answer will be rounded to two sig figs, all right? So looking at that, we see that our final answer will look like 41 centimeters cubed. The seven turns the zero to a one, and we're good to go. All right. I hope this video was a help, folks. Um, this is a very brief video on density, okay? Um, analyze the situation. See if you're dealing with a reg irregular object versus a regular object. It's always going to be density equals mass over volume. Um, if they ask you to find volume, you know what to do. If they ask you to find mass, you know what to do. Always your units. Your units. And as always, hard work plus sacrifice equals success. Do well on the test. Take care.